Hi, and welcome to 2017 Paper 2, Question 1. It's going to start the show here. And we're moving on to Question 1 here. It's a 25 mark question. There's a few parts to it, and let's get stuck in. So, according to the Central Statistics Office, there were 6, 65,909 uh, babies born in Ireland in 2015. Of these, 3290 were girls. Okay, so the important information is the two numbers there. Um, question part A, part one. How many boys were born in Ireland in 2015? So the years match. Okay, no problems. So your total number of babies, and that's the answer here, I suppose. Total number of babies, take away the female babies, equals the male babies. So 65,009, take away that. And whatever your calculator display is, 33609 is what I got. Hopefully it was right. That's a 5B, so part, mid partial of 2. Now, part two here says, find the probability that a baby picked at random from those born in Ireland in 2015 is a boy. So you can for the probability. Now, probability, you can always I suppose, make this um, formula up in your head. I often say, if you think of a, a, a coin being tossed, and how many things could happen, okay, the number of possible things is two, heads or tails. How many things will happen is one, so you get your probability of a half. And everyone knows the probability of flicking head, tails, or, tails or heads is a half. It's usually a pretty reasonable thing that most understand. So you can make your formula up from that. So number of uh, things that will happen over the number of things that could happen. Okay, and that gives you your probability. And probabilities always score between zero and one. So I put the numbers in. Probability of a boy is just a terminology we use in probability. Is given the number of boys over the number of total babies. Okay, that was uh, the figures in there, 32619. Divided by 65,909. That gives me a probability of 0 0.51008. The question does say, we always have to remember to be careful that we do these, but as we lose a mark, uh, they want to round the two decimal places. So I start on the zero, it's less than four, so the next number stays the same. And I have two decimal places, 0.51. This passes the baloney meter as such, and this is score between zero and one. So this seems right. The numbers, you know, yeah, there's, there's no reason in the world um, to be suspicious. The answer is incorrect. So part B here. This is, uh, eight babies were born in Limerick's maternity hospital on the 1st of May 2015. Use your answer to part A, part 2, to find the probability that the first three babies born were boys. Give your answer correct to four decimal places. Now, in probability, there's two main things um, you have to consider, and that's the addition rule. So it's going to say the add rule, okay, and the multiplication rule. So it's going to put mult to represent that, okay. So there's two scenarios here. If the question is, okay, uh, in, is R, so if that's indicated directly, or if that's what you think it is, you're going to add your probabilities. If the question is and, or you can figure out that it is, then you multiply. Okay, so in this situation, we're looking at the probability of having a boy, and a boy, and another boy. So that's obviously the and scenario, so you multiply the probabilities. Okay, so I've done here, so uh, the probability of boy, and boy, and boy, is 0.51, that's a power of 3, or you can write 0.51 by 0.51 by 0.51. I end up getting the number of point one three two six five one, which is to six dozen places. They want it to four. Okay, it's unusual they ask for four, but whatever. So I'm starting on the fifth decimal place. Is that number uh, five or greater? Yes, it is. The number prior to it goes up by one, and I end up with point one three two seven. Now that's fairly hardcore probability, but if you can figure out that it's the and rule and you try and multiply, you're going to get some some of the marks. Okay, uh, just it be, be a good attempt. They are saying they use the answer in part A, part 2, so make sure you at least write that down and do something to it. Even multiply it by itself, would have definitely got you the, 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 the low partial. There's five, see, there's five marks going for this, so you definitely got the two marks. Now, part 2 is sharing those five C marks. Find the probability that the third Bert was the first girl born in the hospital that day. Now, even reading, my brain turns off halfway through, so make sure, if you need to read these questions three, four, five, six times, Whatever it is that you need, nobody else knows how many times you read it. So just like make sure you, you, you kind of get what's going on. So we might need to doodle, try to figure it out, you know. 
So here the third birth was the first girl born in the hospital. Now that indicates that the first two births were boys. At least that's my take on it. So that's the probability of having a boy, boy, and then girl. Okay, so still the and rule. So you multiply the probabilities, and if you copy it, the 0 0.51 is the boy, 0 0.51 is the boy, and I suppose by definition, 0 0.49 has to be the probability of getting a girl. So plus 4, 51, 0 0.51 and 0 0.49 equals 1. And the, if it's not a boy, it has to be a girl. So that's your 0 0.49. Uh, multiply them together, I end up with uh, 6 decimal places, so I'm going to look for the 5th. I'm round to 4 decimal places. Okay, so I look at the 4, okay. And that means 4 is less than 5, so the next one prior to it stays the same. And that's 0.1274. Now that's B part 2. So now we're into part C here. So the table below shows the probability of being born on a particular day of the week. Now there's 7 days in the week. Okay, so the probability of being born on a day of the week is 1. Okay, you have to be born. It has to be a day of the week. Uh, so you know, the, take some time to get that practice of probability questions. We'll make these things a bit more obvious. So if we add all these numbers up, okay, um, now we could call this, choose that we could call it X if we wanted. This isn't something we just don't know. So you could add all these numbers you have, take away from one, and that would give you X. So that should be what's here. Um, so what I've done is written the one, taken all those numbers away from it. That ends up being this particular sum here. Uh, put it in the character or whatever, I end up at 0 0.16. So there's a 0 0.16 chance that a baby would be born on a Tuesday. Now, in a particular week, 1,300 babies were born. If that probability is correct, find the number of babies you'd expect to be born on, on the Tuesday of that week. So you get your 1,300, you multiply it by the probability, and that works out to be 208 babies you'd expect to be born on a Tuesday. Now, if you think about that from a deeper perspective, it just shows the power of probability. If we're trying to predict what happens, if we have good data and can work out a good probability, we can then make uh, estimations. And you might say, well... You know, uh, realistically on a Tuesday, we expect to have uh, a certain number of babies born, therefore we need a certain amount of staff. Okay, you may try to overestimate the number of staff, so even though there is a higher than normal uh, probability or expectation, you have enough people in to cope with it. And that's just, that's just one scenario linked to this particular question. I think that's really the end of that question. Okay, so thanks very much, and see you in question two.